It has long been a tradition at our Memorial Day service to decorate the chairs with flowers to commemorate the major wars and conflicts in which our country has been engaged and to honor the men and women who served in those wars and conflicts. Many of the gentlemen who act as escorts are members of the flight crew, having served their country in the Army Air Corps in World War II. The ladies have family members who served in the armed forces. Three people who have served us faithfully for the many years are no longer with us, having passed away in 2009. They are Gold Star Mother Jenny McGonigal, Pat Ritter, and Thomas Hill, founder of the flight crew. And now at this time, Bailey Conroy, the recipient of the American Legion Medal, will read her winning essay, a tribute to her grandfather, Thomas Hill. playing under the Haunton Bridge like it was just yesterday. It was a bright and sunny day and he was taking a student up for training. All of a sudden, he realized that he couldn't get up enough speed to fly over, so he had to fly under the bridge. My grandfather, Thomas Hill, or as I like to call him, Dan Dan, was a kind, gentle, giving, and courageous man. He recognized the value of education and worked exceptionally hard at everything he did. He also served his country and community. He was a friend to many because of his charming and humorous personality. My grandfather truly demonstrates the qualities of scholarship, service, leadership, citizenship, loyalty, and courage. First and foremost, Dan Dan was a man full of courage. In his freshman year at Carnegie Tech, after a visit from the ROTC, he decided he wanted to serve his country, so he enlisted into the Army Air Corps. He had always had a love for planes and flying, and as a very young man, had no fear of war. Only excitement and anticipation for this new adventure. It was the summer of 1943 when he and the others were sent off for training. He passed all the tests and became a single engine pilot. Dan Dan flew a P-51 Mustang, one of the greatest fighter planes in the world. He was chosen by his commander to be a flight instructor at the young age of 20 as a result of his great flying skill. One day, during training, he had a plane engine catch fire over Biscayne Bay. His courage was most definitely shown that day by the fact that he was able to successfully land the airplane. After serving in World War II, he changed his mind and, and instead of starting back up in engineering, decided he wanted to be educated in law. So he went to Penn State and got his bachelor's degree in political science. He took a job as a stockbroker so he could put himself through Duquesne Law School, taking classes five nights per week. Even though it was challenging and exhausting, Dan Dan never gave up. Because of his perseverance and attitude towards a good education, he finally graduated from Duquesne with a degree in law in 1952. Dan Dan was a very inspiring person who gave back wherever he could. While employed at Rockwell International, he had developed the Star and Crescent Foundation. This foundation provided scholarships to junior and senior students in the Kappa Sigma fraternity at his alma mater, Penn State University. He was able to obtain a $250,000 donation to the scholarship from one of his fraternity brothers from Penn State. This foundation has helped lots of people and is still in effect 40 years later. After retirement, my grandfather had started the flight crew, a group of men from the Army Air Corps. The flight crew has been in existence for 10 years now and also provides escorts in the Memorial Day service at the Oakmont Verona Cemetery. Above all, Dan Dan was a kind and gentle man. He was a loyal friend, comrade, teacher, and well-loved by all of his family. He was brave and courageous. He was admired by many for his leadership and community service. He had perseverance and never gave up, even when diagnosed with the disease that he knew would rob his mind and someday take his life. Even with all of these qualities, he was never boastful and always felt that it was an honor to serve his country and a blessing to help others. I feel truly blessed to have known such a wonderful man and to be able to call him my grandfather. Thank you, Brayden. That was beautifully done, and I know your grandfather would be very proud of you.